Ground Operation and Servicing Question. During starting of a turbine power plant using a compressed air starter, a hung start occurred. Select the proper procedure. Answer. Shut the engine down. Question. A hung start in a jet engine is often caused by. Answer. The starter cutting off too soon. Question. Which statement below reflects a typical requirement when towing some aircraft? Answer. If the aircraft has a steerable nose wheel, the torque link lock should be set to full swivel. Question. Which statements is slash are true regarding tie-down of small aircraft? 1. Manila, hemp, rope has a tendency to stretch when it gets wet. 2. Nylon or Dacron rope is preferred to Manila rope. 3. The aircraft should be headed downwind in order to eliminate or minimize wing lift. 4. Leave the nose wheel or tail wheel unlocked. Answer. 2. Question. When approaching the front of an idling jet engine, the hazard area extends forward of the engine approximately. Answer. 25 feet. Question. Which of the following is the most satisfactory extinguishing agent for use on a carburetor or intake fire? Answer. Carbon dioxide. Question. Refer to figure 50. Identify the signal to engage rotor on a rotorcraft. Answer. 3. Question. Question. If a radial engine has been shut down for more than 30 minutes, the propeller should be rotated through at least two revolutions too. Answer. Check for hydraulic lock. Question. The priming of a fuel-injected horizontally opposed engine is accomplished by placing the fuel control lever in the answer. Full rich position. Question. The most important condition to be monitored during start after fuel flow begins in a turbine engine is the answer. EGT, TIT, or ITT. Question. Which of the following conditions has the most potential for causing engine damage? engine damage when starting or attempting to start a turbine engine? Answer. Hot start. Question. How is a flooded engine, equipped with a float-type carburetor, cleared of excessive fuel? Answer. Crank the engine with the starter or by hand, with the mixture control and cutoff, ignition switch off, and the throttle fully open, until the fuel charge has been cleared. Question. Refer to figure 51, which marshalling signal should be given if a taxiing aircraft is in imminent danger of striking an object? Answer. 3. Question. Generally, when an induction fire occurs during starting of a reciprocating engine, the first course of action should be to answer. Continue cranking and start the engine if possible. Question. If an engine fire develops during the starting procedures, the first step you should take in extinguishing the fire is answer. Continue cranking to start the engine and blow out the fire. Question. When starting and ground operating an aircraft's engine, the aircraft should be positioned to head into the wind primarily. Answer. For engine cooling purposes. Question. Question. When approaching the rear of an idling turbojet or turbofan engine, the hazard area extends after the engine approximately. Answer. 100 feet. Question. If a hot start occurs during starting of a turbine power plant, what is the likely cause? Answer. The fuel-slash-air mixture was excessively rich. Question. What effect, if any, will aviation gasoline mixed with jet fuel have on a turbine engine? Answer. The tetraethyl lead in the gasoline forms deposits on the turbine blades. Question. 1. Jet fuel is of higher viscosity than aviation gasoline and therefore holds contaminants more readily. 2. Viscosity has no relation to contamination of fuel. Regarding the above statements. Answer. Only number 1 is true. Question. When towing a large aircraft. Answer. A person should be in the cockpit to operate the brakes. Question. Weather vanning tendency is greatest when taxiing. Answer. A tailwheel type airplane in a direct crosswind. Question. When taxiing an airplane with a quartering tailwind, the elevators and. Answer. Upwind aileron should be held in the down position. Question. When taxiing, or towing, an aircraft, a flashing red light from the control tower means. Answer. Move clear of the runway slash taxiway immediately. Question. A person should approach or leave a helicopter in the pilot's field of vision whenever the engine is running in order to avoid. Answer. The tail rotor. Question. When taxiing, or towing, an aircraft, a flashing white light from the control tower means. Answer. Return to starting point. Question. When taxiing, or towing, an aircraft, an alternating red and green light from the control tower means. Answer. Okay to proceed but use extreme caution. Question. When stopping a nose wheel type airplane after taxiing, the nose wheel should be left. Answer. Pointed straight ahead. Question. When first starting to move an aircraft while taxiing, it is important to answer test the brakes question the color of 100 ll fuel is answer blue question how are aviation fuels which possess greater antinoc qualities than 100 octane classified answer by performance numbers question 
Why is ethylene dibromide added to aviation gasoline? Answer. To scavenge lead oxide from the cylinder combustion chambers. Question. Both gasoline and kerosene have certain advantages for use as turbine fuel. Which statement is true in reference to the advantages of each? Answer. Kerosene has a higher heat energy slash value per unit volume than gasoline. Question. What must accompany fuel vaporization? Answer. An absorption of heat. Question. Characteristics of detonation are. Answer. Rapid rise in cylinder pressure, excessive cylinder head temperature, and a decrease in engine power. Question. A fuel that vaporizes too readily may cause. Answer. Vapor lock. Question. Jet fuel number identifiers are. Answer. Type numbers and have no relation to the fuel's performance in the aircraft engine. Question. The main differences between grades 100 and 100 LL fuel are. Answer. Lead content and color. Question. Characteristics of aviation gasoline are. Answer. High heat value. High volatility. Question. Tetraethyl lead is added to aviation gasoline too. Answer. Improve the gasoline's performance in the engine. Question. A fuel that does not vaporize readily enough can cause. Answer. Hard starting.